So you may not have realized it, but the amount of time you're taking between each set is killing your gains, ruining your life, making your dick small. So today we're fixing that, going over the exact amount of time you should take between each set. And at the very end of the video, I'm gonna leave the camera running so you can see me go through an entire exercise and you'll be shocked how efficient you can be and still maximize the amount of muscle you put on. Let's get after it. So I've talked about this in a previous video, but I still get this question all the time. So we got to go deeper. Even the program I just released, I still get comments to say, hey, that last workout took me an hour and 45 minutes, which that's absurd. There's no reason it should take that long. And today somebody flagged me down in the grocery store parking lot, ran down just to say, hey, man, you must work out four hours a day. Now, he was a little bit easier to dismiss because it looks like he's been smoking crack for the last 10 years and you can still see the imprint of another homeless man's balls on his forehead. But either way, made me realize that most people still wasting a lot of time. So let me start out by saying if you're a progressive overload till you die kind of person, that's a totally different scenario. I used to work with a guy who owned a gym and he would do a set, train a client, an hour later come back, do another set until he got through his entire day to do one workout. It was weird. You wanted to buy the guy a friend, but there's no doubting the fact that it worked. But that's definitely not how I want to spend my day. I love the gym, but there's stuff I want to do with my life. I want to travel the world, get a few tugs in before I die. And that's why if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I really drive home the point of collapsing time and being as efficient as possible. So if you're part of my time under tension cult and you believe that pushing as much blood as possible in the shortest time period possible will lead you to the promised land, then we need to go over how to structure your workouts because that's where a lot of people screw themselves. So the way I structure my workouts is I only allow for one exercise to be a complete time suck. So say I'm training chest doing hammer strength, that's the only exercise of the day that I'll take a little time in between each set. That way I can at least maintain the same amount of weight for those high rep sets. And the rest of the sets are balls to the wall or in the spirit of that homeless guy, balls to the forehead and there's little to no rest in between. And apparently a not so obvious way to do this is just stop resting so much between your straight sets. While everybody else is looking in the mirror, getting a chub from that little vein that's poking through, just stay focused, take a couple deep breaths, and get right back after it. So if you find that no matter how focused you are doing straight sets, it's just a matter of time before that little vein catches your eye and you spend half the workout staring at yourself in the mirror at half mass. Here are some sets that I've used in the program that help people get out of their own way. And I'm sure you've heard of all of these before, maybe one you haven't because I like to make up words, but the first one's compound sets. And that's just where you hit the same muscle with two different exercises back to back. So say you're doing a seated dumbbell curl, palms are supinated, then you hop up and do an easy bar curl. Next one is supersets where you hit two antagonist muscles back to back. Now biceps and triceps are a good example of this. You can do a seated incline curl, then right into an overhead cable extension. Next one, obviously my favorite because of the name, the trifecta. It's three exercises back to back to back, hitting the same muscle group. And I love to do these with triceps. So like a seated French press, lying back in the skull crusher, and then into a close grip bench. And then finally, the dreaded giant sets. Now, this is four exercises back to back to back to back, no rest in between. You don't have to hit the same muscle, but I rarely ever switch it up unless it's arms. So usually it's that same muscle and you're just destroying it with little to no rest in between. You rest after each set, which is a full cycle, but giant sets are tough. And as you can see, all my examples are gonna be arms because it's two in the morning and I'm fucking tired. So a good one would be drag curls, right into spider curls, then those hammer curls where you lean back and forth to make the contraction even worse, and then finish off with alternating dumbbell curls until something bad happens. If those crazy sets aren't your style, then you could do it on a micro level, like drop sets or rest pause sets where you do 15 reps, take a couple of deep breaths, and you go again, you do that two more times, or something really stupid, and just don't put down the weight. So say I'm doing cable curls, and I can only set the weight down when I'm done with those four sets. Sounds like a good idea. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Cable curls where I'm forced to hold the weight while I rest, and it's gonna incentivize me to just get the damn thing done. Because as much as I like to be succinct with my videos, I do think it's important I show this exercise all the way through. That way it might open your eyes and you might realize, wow, I can be a lot more efficient with my training. And I'll throw some music over top because I don't want to hear myself breathe as much as you don't. And if you haven't got a chance to, make sure you check out the program. I'll link that below. 30 days, 20 bucks, 20 videos. You'll get your ass kicked. And make sure you subscribe. If you don't, you're going to hell.
catch me hollering at the moon. Walls.